Oh, hello. Oh, no, boy. Hey, welcome back. Ike. Your favorite character fighting and your... Uh, Day -day. Yeah, your favorite. Yeah. If you want to talk about character biases, I am biasly against this character. That's okay, because I play him. Oh, God. I will figure it out one day. Anyway, uh, yeah. How so does this, this matchup match go? Up. This is a matchup that I feel like I actually does pretty well in. Uh, I definitely have a strong preference for both Falco in this matchup. Because I feel like Falco is able to, to play a lot better in the ground game than DDD's. Um, but that might have actually changed due to the, the recent, to the way that they that they've uh, altered Nair. Because that was the big thing that really made this matchup kind of annoying for DDD. They didn't have great out of shield options, mm. and all of uh, Ike's huge sw sword <laughs> and all of Ike's huge uh, swinging sword moves like cover so much space that you can get with it sometimes. But you know, King Ant's doing a pretty good job. Also, apparently, King Ant is from Brooklyn. Okay. She's like, man, I never, uh, I never heard of you. Like, Sorry to say, but you know what? You're doing pretty good. Good job, especially for your first uh, bracket. So happy to have you. All right. All right. The main things that uh, the king ant's gonna want to look for is gonna want to. Typically, you want to try to to stuff uh, Ike's jumps. However, because of how DDD's set, that can be really difficult to do effectively. So he's just gonna want to look for an opportunity to really pressure uh, and his shield, and eventually force his way in and hopefully get enough advantage to where he's able to get the kill. Yeah, right now he's in a pretty okay position here. Yep. Mega's been really, he's, especially after the patch, he's gotten a lot better at just turning around these kind of terrible situations and making these super big reads that end up in his favor. But DDD up air also got buffed significantly. That move is too strong, honestly. I need show. Good mashup. I think Mega's contemplating whether he wants to go for the uh, for the up here or not. <laughs> good, uh, good double up air. We're taking advantage of the low landing lag on uh, Ike's aerials. And a great parry from King Ed. Yeah, this is gonna. This is where things get a little bit frustrating. Because Day Day is very good at like setting up a wall. Nice bait with the inhale. Yeah, use of F tilts. Unfortunately, uh, Mega falling out of the last hit. Before the last hit, I mean. And Mega's kind of got to figure out how he's going to get this first kill, but that upbeat, dude. All right. That thing is so strong now. Yeah, it is. All right, 86 damage. Uh, that's like not the worst, but it's still pretty solid for King Ant, especially with how like heavy uh, Diddy is. But he's definitely going on the aggressive now, so I think he's just more worried the fact that they're on the same stock and he just wants to seal it out. And that is honestly giving Mega opportunity to close the gap. But that's gonna be the stock, nope. yeah. Yeah, no, man, he overextended. Like Mega overextended a few times because he wanted to try to force as much pressure as possible. And that one time he whiffed, ended up just completely biting the butt. I think I've played and, uh, this And King Ant was able to turn around. And just like that, uh, King Ant is up 1-0 right now. Yeah. If he goes Mario, then I think I know this day today. <laughs> I mean, I don't see why he would go Mario. This was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty good showing for the first game. He lost his stock super early, but he was able to make the comeback almost immediately. Mm -hmm. I really like his use his uh, his Gordo placement, especially on that stock. Because he uh, he threw it directly into uh, Mega's path to try to stop his quick draw from getting him back in stage, and then follow up perfectly. That down B almost definitely pushed out the kill. Okay. Use him there. Unfortunately, did not commit to the jab. Ooh. And Mega Parry in the second to last hit. Not the last hit. Yeah, Jeez. That's one, of the, that's one of the easiest parries you can get because once it pushes you out, you're, you're basically just in parry range because the hitboxes just never stop. 
Yep. It might be preferable sometimes to jump out of that move, but because it, uh, he suddenly swings the board, Ooh. it is reactable. And looking uh, for the uh. shield break. But King had like a little bit too much shield health to get a shield broken. And, and if you get hit by the hammer, the hammer and the board should have the same hitbox ID. <laughs> She can fly right past it. Ugh! Alright. I respect the attempt from both players. I think it was like, if I suck him up, he's gonna die. Alright, I like that anti-edge guard right there attempt. But, uh, Mega just staying firmly on the ground. Oh boy. This is a tough situation, but makes it past him. Alright, like that. Holding shield through the entire inhale. Nope. Don't bother. Oh. Oh, so because of the hurt box, I guess, on the Gordo, it activates quick draw? Yeah. All right. That sounds like it could be super good for day to day. Yeah, oh. I mean, it's good for both characters. Uh, it's why Mega was using quick draw a lot at the end of the last match, because uh, the range on quick draw activation is actually really big, and it's very unlikely that Gordo's actually uh, Gordo's going to get ripped on. So if Mega uses it, like, offensively, he can generally get really easy Gordo reflex. Okay. Right, yep. Yeah. See, Mega's, like, looking for some kind of air dodge or some kind of, like, laggy option whenever Ants in, uh, Ant get hit, gets hit. Alright. Alright, good use of a uh, jab to punish the grab. Nair is, uh, Nair is still safe on shields. So, like, even though, uh, you know... That might be the stock. Oh, it is! I was gonna yeah. say, actually, uh, even though, like, you know, last game was a little bit wishy-washy and King Ed brought it, uh, brought the victory, but, uh, Mega definitely seems to be in a lot more control this, this game. And, uh, I yeah. think Mega kind of figured out what he's doing. And that's like a that's a really big aspect of a matchup that you kind of need to understand. Like what is your, how does your opponent move relative to other people? Gardos on the ledge. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't really use Gordos to try to punish gap up options. He uses Gordos to mostly try to snipe out the recoveries. Yeah, I want to see more uh, two v one. On the edge. Yeah, Mega guard. unfortunately messing up his reverse of the up B, and that cost him the second stock. I think he was just trying to catch him. No, uh, he could have uh, he could have reversed it and he would have been fine. He would have grabbed the ledge and caught him, and that would have killed. That's not how Mega goes, though. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> ah, ah! Oh, sick parry, yo, let's go. Frightening I parry. That. I think he was fine. He was at the edge where uh, where the hammer wouldn't have sweet spotted. So he wouldn't die. Still yeah, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have died. Still frightening in that position. Oh, absolutely. But I respect the balls well, on this man. Boom, boom. Yep. All right, King Egg. Oh, he's beginning to even up a little bit here, but up, oh, up. Oh, no, we're going to game yep. three. Good up to from Mega to steal the start. To, 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 as I said, steal. To, to finish off the game. I agree. The man's won't give you any sympathy. Not a one. Curious to where we're going next. Oh, let me take a look at the uh, the match. So right now, uh, Mega Band. I don't know what Mega Band because King Ant chose Town and City. So I wouldn't be surprised if he changed to K Roll just because K Roll might have better options for actually like dealing with. Um, with dealing with out of shield options from uh, from uh, Ike, oh. and that's a big thing about the matchup is honestly the fact that Diddy doesn't have a great out of shield option. So like he kind of has to, if he's in shield, he has to premeditate some kind of hit on. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, he might have been going for it. Now that you mention it, yeah, but I don't know, man. It's like why risk it like that? Because that's how that Mega do. I can't agree with that. Yeah, he's staying D3, we go to town. Agree with it or not, that's how Mega do. 
bro. You would just throw your balls against the wall. Just go balls to the wall. And just, just, just slam them in there, bro. All right. Yeah, I don't agree with that. So what stage are we going to? Town and sea. Interesting. I, I kind of like that for a uh, day-to-day -day counter pick. High ceiling. Uh, yep, it has a high ceiling. But do you remember that uh, most of the kills that King had got were off the up air. So it's kind of a two-way street where I don't think the best way that shit. he had to kill Mega was up there. Yeah, I don't... Not gonna, that's not gonna yeah, I, I feel like it, it's going to outweigh, though, just the survivability. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's just going to be more survivability overall, which, I mean, it is DDD. You only help you add a shield, very nice. It's a run. Almost hit him. Oh. On that one. You really like how uh, how Mega's approaching the Gordos right now, with like just this amount of fearlessness and just trying to whack them back as best he can, because he knows that once they get hit away, they're out of play for a few seconds. That could be the stock. Never mind. Can get going all in on the S smash or something. Whew. Nice. I yeah, like no. that. Uh, Gordo is very committal. You gotta be very careful with it. when you use it, and a really good counter from Mega. You like never taking, see uh, Ike's getting counter. a little bit of damage and getting him sandwiched. All right, second nice up, up tilt. tilt gonna seal the deal. He was up there a long time after that first up tilt. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what can uh? Well, actually, Mega's with the lead here. Ooh, 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 okay. You know what? Good air dodge. Good drag. Good, good attempt on to drag down up tilt. You needed to turn around the uh, the up tilt if you wanted to get the hit. Though. Can King Ant do to try and even this out? <sighs> Land. That'd probably be for boom. starters. There you go. Boom, See, uh -oh. he landed and now he's Ooh. dead. So boom, boom. Uh oh. Uh oh. He landed. Now he's doing great. Oh no! He landed and now he's doing great! What did I tell you? Oh god, I hate this character. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Mega needs to stop fishing, bro. I know he's frustrated that he missed that the uh, the up that he fell out of the up and then he got the he just killed in second stock. But he's just been he's been fishing a little bit, bro. He's fishing! He's fishing! Bro, he's trying to swing as much as dead today. Little does he know he's never not allowed to swing as much as dead today. Did his jab is a kill move, but only starting about 130, and that's it. Oh my God! Mega, getting president of the press forward gang, was pressing forward too hard, and it cost him the set. <sighs> he was that's doing enough, so well. That was like that was his game to lose, and he did. <laughs> yeah, it was his game to lose, and then he, uh, he kept oh. pressing forward. Ooh, like look at this first kill, like. He's gonna get that first blood. It looks real clean. I like the way he goes off. That was very nice. He stuffed him. He was just like, I know you're gonna gordo like a dummy. And then King Atkins just like, I ain't gonna let you hang on to this lead. No, no, no. You're gonna stay up there for a million years before my up tilt. I'm gonna up tilt you again. And then uh, here's where things start falling apart. Bro, he's at 125. He's at 27. He's like, mm -mm, no, this is my. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take your stock. Boom. Yeah. Sweet spot. Uh, Jet Hammer is extremely strong. That wasn't clear from the fact that he died at like 70. Yeah. No, this is literally just Mega kept trying to force his way in when he really shouldn't have.